Yo, what's up, everybody? Oh, man. Why didn't someone tell me it was double playing the audio from the... I had the thing pulled up in the background. How's it going, everybody? Uh, this is One Hour Jury Lessons. This is going to be lesson number four. Uh, before we start, I want to say thank you to everybody that uh, subscribed to me on YouTube and followed me on Twitch and Twitter and all that. Uh, sure, you can did a uh, feature for my previous three lessons this week, so I got tons of people that were subscribing and all that. So if you're joining me for the first time, thank you for, for coming and watching my stream. Um, my name is MLP Triox. I'm a jury player from San Diego, California. I have been playing jury since... Uh, couple months after Super Street Fighter 4 came out and so for almost pretty much four years I've been uh, playing this character I just I, I don't know I, I get this character this is the character that clicks with me on on a certain level and throughout those four years I've, I've learned a lot about the character a lot of stuff that I know other jury players there wasn't really the uh, tools to learn like um, there wasn't really guides or anything like that. So that's the purpose of these lessons. The lessons is for me to take the knowledge that I have about this character and give it to you, either the aspiring jury player, the jury player that's looking to maybe uh, level up their game a little bit better, uh, get better at the game, as well as give information for the people maybe who might not play jury, who are looking to either pick her up or maybe looking to find out what exactly is up with this character. So. Tonight's lesson is going to be about Feng Shui Engine. And this is the lesson that, out of all the ones that I've been talking to people and everything, uh, whenever I would post the YouTube links, this is the one that everybody was saying they were really looking forward to. So, there's a lot to discuss about this, and really, I mean, one hour, uh, I mean, I could probably give you an hour worth of it, and there's probably still even more that I'm not going to cover. So I'm going to try and cover... Uh, a lot of uh, a feng shui engine better explaining what it is how to properly use it uh some mix-ups and why feng shui engine can potentially be the best ultra in super street fighter 4. um let's go ahead and get back into the game let me know if my levels of the game is a little too loud that was one of the things that i heard people uh telling me from my previous video is that the volume for the game was a little loud over my microphone. So, let's go ahead and pick Feng Shui Engine, and let's go ahead and pick, we'll go ahead and go with Cody to start this off for the night. So what is Feng Shui Engine? Feng Shui Engine is Jury's Ultra One. Um, what it is, is it's an activated Ultra, okay? Like Yoon, who has Ganajin from their super, what will happen is, is when you activate it, depending on how much of your ultra bar you have will depend on how long the ultra will last for. Uh, I believe it's 14 seconds. Um, can't remember if they nerfed it or not, but I believe it was 14 seconds when you activate it with a full bar. Now, if you are using W Ultra, the time is actually reduced, which I'll go into that later why I think that's part of the reason why W Ultra can actually work with Jury. So let's go ahead and activate it. You do it by two quarter circle forwards, and you can see down there in the uh, revenge bar that you see it slowly starting to tick away. Okay, so whenever it's whenever it's done, you're no longer in Feng Shui Engine. Okay, so um, I play uh, my roommate who plays a Buki, and he is really really starting to hate playing against Jury more and more due to the fact that he feels that when he plays against Jury. Um, he can beat her up, and then she gets to activate Feng Shui Engine, and then suddenly everything is reversed. Now it's my turn to play again, and he hates the fact that it's such a mood swing um, in the other direction for you getting hit, which he has a point. Jury can kind of be treated uh, to some extent, at least in the similarities, as uh, Dark Phoenix from Marvel, and the fact that suddenly with something happening jury is now in a, in a different mode and you've got to be a little bit more careful or you're going to get blown up okay so two quarter circle forwards oh nope. didn't do it so what is feng shui engine feng shui engine allows you to chain normals um that you couldn't be able to chain before 
um, there's a little bit more to that. So whereas, for example, a, a link would be something like like that, in feng shui, if you do it fast, whoops. All right. So what does it mean by chaining? Chaining means that you cancel out uh, some of the recovery frames of a move or a special into the very next input that you're going to do, which is why focus attack uh, works. So actually, here's what we're going to do since we're going to be setting this up. We use this nice little feature. Oh, my nice little feature from Ultra. Set it to memory. Okay. So, chaining. It's not as easy as just pushing buttons. Sure. Whoops. Sure, you can do it. Stuff like that, okay? But there is some form of a priority as far as how you have to go when doing Feng Shui Engine, okay? When doing Feng Shui Engine, you can cancel light normals into other light normals. Like that. Okay? Well, those are normally change. Okay? Or chained. So, that's a chain. That's a chain, okay? So you can chain it. Now, you are allowed to go up the list as far as strength for normals. So, if you were to start off with that, that means that you could chain that into light kick. You could chain that into medium punch. You can chain it to this. As long as you're going up the list, okay? Now, what you cannot chain, you can't do a medium punch and then go backwards to light. Doesn't work. Same thing with any of them. Okay, you can only go forward, all right? So, this kind of, if you're familiar with Marvel, it's very similar to the combos they do in there. Just kind of ABC. All right? So, you can do the normals ABC. And it works for all of them. It isn't just punches. It works for kicks, too. You can even do it. You can do two punches and then a kick, or two kicks and a punch, okay? So if you're looking at the inputs, you can see that I started off with the light kick, went to a medium kick, went to a medium punch, went to a heavy punch, okay? So as long as you are going either equal or up the chain, that is what you're allowed to do in Feng Shui Engine, okay? So for the most of it, you can do all six buttons. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six. Do it again. Let's take a look. One, two, three, four, five. Whoops, I didn't get the other one. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, that's all the buttons right there. Now, I was able to do it by, like I said, going from light kick, uh, no, light punch, and then moving up the chain, okay? So, why is that good? Why is this such a threat, all right? Uh, let's start over, okay? Here is why. Let's take this combo, for example, okay? Uh, we're going to do jab into crouch heavy punch pinwheel. Oops. Okay, 242 damage, all right? So, that's a one frame link in there. But we can chain that once we're in Feng Shui Engine. The strength of, one, of Feng Shui Engine is the fact that you don't have negatives as far as damage. If I chain this combo... 242 damage as well, okay? You get the same amount of damage inside Feng Shui as outside of Feng Shui. So what does that mean? That means that doing all these combos, this combo... Whoop, no, 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 we'll do it from here. Whoops, I needed to crouch that. Oh, what am I doing? Okay, crouch heavy punch into stand heavy kick. That combo isn't possible outside of Feng Shui Engine. There is no way of hitting that combo except in Feng Shui Engine. So in other words, you can't get that 210, that 210 damage outside of it, okay? So, this means that you can pour on damage just by mashing buttons, pretty much. So, that was a super easy combo, and you scored 322 damage because you are able to chain that in that. This is why Feng Shui Engine is so popular, but it takes some getting used to, okay? You're going to have to learn. You're going to have to do the button presses a lot faster to be able to chain the normals out of it, okay? So, stuff like that. This is a combo. Whoops, whoops. 196, but sure. See how everything was faster on them. Uh, let me set up the memory again. 
So, this is where the strength of it comes, okay? So how do you properly use Feng Shui Engine? Oh, I didn't set memory. Alright. Alright, there we go. Now I hit the combo. So, how do you properly use Feng Shui Engine? Well, obviously when you get Feng Shui Engine and you get a hit, confirm, alright? Let's switch this over. Let's go to uh, a character that we know we're going to get a hit, confirm, okay? Alright. It has the ability to, in a very quick amount of time, pile on the damage. We already saw that one simple combo that we had that did 320 damage. So, that is... What am I doing? Yeah, I know what I'm doing. Oh, no. Where's the button? I wanted to record. Okay. Okay. So he's gonna whiff this sure you can. I'm gonna block it. Okay, 316 damage off of whiff sure you can. Alright, we got a little scaling now this time because of the low health. So, this is why it's scary. This is why Feng Shui is very, very scary. So, besides having the ability to chain normals, what else does Feng Shui offer? Well, it does add a couple other properties to moves as well. Alright? Uh, we'll, we'll go back to this in a sec and I'll discover it. So, um, it adds for a juggle ability on a lot of normals. Alright? So, let's say you do this. It whiffs. Doesn't hit anything. Alright, nothing's happening there. If you're in Feng Shui, though... Oh, look at that! We juggle now. We got a reset. What else has got a reset? Well, this does. Oops. Normally, that's the only juggle we can get after it. Inside of Feng Shui. Oh, we can do a stand medium punch after it. We can also do another heavy punch. If I can hit the link. There it is. So you can get two of those. So it has a bunch of different uh, juggle properties uh, to various things in the game. Um, what else? Oh! This! How can we forget about this? This is one of the trials. So we get juggle off of that. We get a juggle off of that. After we do an EX pinwheel, we get juggles off of fireball stores. We get juggles... Um, I think that's pretty much it, yeah. So, we get juggles off of that. So besides the ability to chain all the normals together, we have the ability to do some resets, too. So you can do... Whoops. You can do stuff like that, alright? So, how does this playstyle go into the game? Okay, well, let's go into this part. Like I said before, with punishing, okay? Let's set them back up. You can even... Let's record this again. You can even wait. Alright, no, oh, no, I didn't want to record. I wanted to play back. Okay, let's set this up again. So. Alright. So, in the game, you can... You can even activate and punish for that damage, alright? Whoops. Come on, do it again. Even more damage that time. Alright, so um, Feng Shui Engine has an activation time of 7 frames plus... Was it zero, 0 plus 7? I know that there. Oh no no no! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm thinking. I'm thinking of uh, Ultra One. So the activation time on it is zero plus one. Okay, that means that um, at the time of activation, there's no startup time, and there is one additional frame that it eats up before you're allowed to do anything afterwards. Okay, so it's very fast to activate, especially like I said, uh, if you're going to be punishing. You can immediately go right into this. 
So, um, look at that, 427 damage. So, if you've got meter and stuff like that, that's huge. That's that's ultra combo damage right there. And I still have probably about two more seconds. Look at that. Another 200-something damage, okay? So playing the, the feng shui game, all right? The first thing you're going to have to, to practice is knowing when to activate feng shui, okay? So I'm going to do something here. Let's set this to CPU. Now, of course, he would throw me. So, all right. So let's say I'm back here. I'm playing the fireball game, right? All right, so... Uh, I get hit, and I'm back here. Alright. So I activate now. So look at that. Look at all that. That's where the feng shui comeback potential comes into play, alright? So when should you activate it? Well... Now's a good time to activate it. Why is now a good time to activate it? Well, <clears throat> because you have a hard knockdown going on. He's not going to get up, so you're going to be able to put the pressure onto him. Oh, he got me. Computers. So, where do I see a lot of players uh, screw up with Feng Shui Engine? I'll see them... Let's say you get uh, your full screen from somebody. Oh... I'm jumping, and yeah, let's take him off for CPU. This is kind of messing me up right now. So, I see a lot of players that will activate Feng Shui Engine from, like, full screen, okay? It, it's not bad, but here's the problem, okay? Say you activate it right here. Now what are you going to do? Look at where Jury's at. Look at where Ryu's at. You still have to dedicate all this time to get over there, okay? Now, one of the bad habits that I see a lot of jury players do when they activate at a wrong time, what are you, what are most of them going to be doing right now? Well, they're going to do this. They're going to have to dash twice. Well, if you're playing against good players, they know that you're going to want to dash in with them. So, they're going to get ready. So, chances are, let's see. Let's see what happens now that I'm dashed. Oh, nothing. Usually... Okay. I was hoping he'd have sure you can me. I should have set this up ahead of time. So what a lot of them will do is they'll start sticking out normals. They'll start sure you can because they're mm, excuse me because they're expecting uh, the dash after you activate the feng shui, especially if you are uh, full screen. All right. So you've got to find a good time to activate feng shui engine. Right. Okay. So most of the good times that I like to activate it is going to be off of stuff like this. Okay. So let's say you're footsing. We just we went over this in the last uh, lesson. You're right here. Okay. So this Ryu, he's gonna get a soft knockdown right here, but he can still get up. But I've activated it while he's in the air. He still has to land and tech and get up. So. So we get to apply all this pressure. We're chaining all these things, and since they're chains, they're block strings. So you should be able to just get full-on pressure with them. Okay. Another time that I, that I'll like to activate, uh, as I showed you, was already on the sweep. Okay. So I'll see another lot of players do this. And do it here. It's not bad to activate here, but you still have to get one more dash in. A better time to do it would be if you've already got them in the corner or close to it. So we... Whoops. Oh, I, I, I'm not hitting all three. Why am I not hitting all three? Oh, why is stun on? So he's right here. So we can do it off of a pinwheel if they're close. So we can get the uh, <clears throat> we get the pressure going right there. Um, that I don't mind doing if it's off of a pinwheel in the corner and I don't have to worry about having to dash in to get into them. Basically, you want the least amount of time getting close to the opponents as you can. Okay, so you don't want to activate here. Now, granted, if you're about to lose and you really think that you're, I mean. 
Go ahead and activate from, from this distance. Go ahead and uh, uh, see if you can apply the pressure. Another thing that I'll see people do is say they get knocked down, they'll back down, the other person will back down, and then they'll activate to, like I said with my uh, Abuki friend, they will activate and then try to, to see if that will switch the thing of the game. But once you get playing better and better players, they're not going to be scared of it so much. You're going to have to make them scared of <clears throat> the Feng Shui engine. Okay? So, another way, and I mentioned this in the very first video, that you can activate Feng Shui Engine. This is going to be a lot harder than the others, and that's actually comboing into it, okay? So we know that fireballs, we've already went over that in the last one, okay? So if I do a crouch medium kick into a fireball, I have 10 frames right there, okay? That's why Ultra 2 works. And I would have, well... Alright, so you've got 10 frames. So what does this mean? So it's a lot harder landing it this way. Now, why is it a lot harder? It's zero plus one. Well, the reason being, and I'll show you, it's going to be right here. Right here. We have to manually time it on the first frames as soon as we get back from the animation. We have to time it, okay? Now, at this distance, you can go for a stand light kick, a stand jab, or a stand medium punch. Anything past that that's uh, going to be a lot riskier, okay? Those are the three frames, and stand jab being a four-frame normal, okay? Those would be a lot riskier, or anything else like the crouch medium kick, the stand medium kick, the crouch medium punch, anything like that um, is going to be a lot harder to land after it. So I usually try and go for the stand medium punch. Hey, what's up, Dax Tony? Yeah, what's your question? See if I can hit this. Oh, why did I pick Ryu? Okay. Let me pick somebody else. There's a problem, I think, with Ryu and Ultra Street Fighter 4 in general to where activating Ultra sometimes lags the game. Um, I think it's tied somewhat with Ryu, but uh, let's try it with Sagat. Let's see if we can hit this combo on Sagat. So this is going to be a lot harder, but you know what? This is a hit confirm. So it has its better, you know, uh, advantages than the other ones. So there we go. We got the combo in. 344 damage, and we got him in. Let's say we hit it over in the corner. That's even better, all right? Let me get on this side. I, I am actually currently playing on PC. I do have it on Xbox, though. Uh, okay, so what, oh, we're activating the Ultra. So look at that. We comboed into Feng Shui Engine, and we got 409 damage, and I still have more than, uh, 50% of the Feng Shui Engine time left for all the mix-ups, um, oh, all the potential, all the block strings that we're going to do, and stuff like that. So comboing into that is a lot harder. Um, but most people that you will see will do Feng Shui Engine will do it um, either after a knockdown, soft or hard, that doesn't push too far away. I also see people... Oops. Do it off of e EX... That was the motion right there. They'll do it off of this as well, to counts as a soft knockdown. So. So. Um, now. Here is where usually most people go for with Feng Shui Engine as far as uh, making it really, really powerful. Okay? Inside Feng Shui Engine, or outside of Feng Shui Engine, this is like Positive two. Oh wait, not Sagat on the overhead combos. Who's a good overhead combo person? So negative two is usually Jury's overhead. Now it's got a lot of good distance. Um, oh no, why am I picking? I'm one of her to play against. Um, 
it's usually negative two. Inside Feng Shui Engine, overhead is positive six. Okay, so this allows for you to combo off of the overhead. You know all of those huge ass combos that Dudley seems to get. Um, you know by doing the overhead, Jury can do these also. Okay, so that's a lot of rare back. There's a combo. There's a combo. There's a combo. There's a combo. So we get to combo off of overhead inside Feng Shui Engine. Can't do it there. Can't do it there. Can't do any of that. So here's where a lot of the mix-up game works with uh, Jury. Okay. Uh, no. Okay. Let's see. No, no, no. I'll leave it like this. So most people will do, you know, something. Let's go back in. That was a huge chunk of life off of two combos, off of hit confirms. I should have set my memory up. So being able to combo into overhead is really, really, really good. Because you have the mix-up game that you get. Let's say they're in the corner. Uh, set to random. Okay. All right. So you're. I'm making her have to guess. High low every time. See, look at that. This is why people should be afraid of Feng Shui Engine, okay? You constantly, uh, when, especially if you get somebody in the corner, you are constantly forcing them to have to guess high-low mix-up or just reversal when they think that you're going to go for a reset. Now, why does the overhead become so strong in the game? Well, as we said before, we are chaining the normals. Lights to mediums to heavies, okay? Well... Jury's three frame normal is this, which thankfully just got re added into Ultra Street Fighter 4. Okay? It used to be five frame, now it's three frame. Well, if you go from close medium punch and do an overhead, technically you can chain it. Alright? It doesn't combo, but you can chain it. So, this leaves for a lot of pressure. One of the things that I like to do with people, let's say, uh, let me wait for the time to, to run out. So let's say I've got them in the corner. Oh. Activate, hard knockdown. Oh, I should have said to all block. block. Yep. So, I got him in the corner. Do 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 activate and then I Look at that. I hit them with a meaty fireball right after the throw. Back dash. Wait. Fireball. Overhead. Do it again. Activate. Back dash. Then an overhead, so I have to make them guess. So what happens? Okay, I throw them in the corner. Do it. Whoops. Let's do this again. Low! I didn't go overhead. Well, what if they try to stand up, okay? Now, if you notice, she's standing up. So they're going to have to stand up. That's where the chain comes into play. Look at this. Block. Low. High. Low. Whoops. Low high low high so this is where it comes in so what are some good strings that you could possibly do to do the high low mix up okay well one of the things I like to do um, is this I'll do a crouch jab stand light kick stand medium punch into overhead okay now I should note that absolutely none of this is a low like that so so what happens if 
You're doing it. And you get a... Alright. Well, what if they block it? Oh, come on, block. I don't have to go into the overhead. I also don't have to go into the uh, overhead if I hit a hit confirm. I can go for a block string like that. Okay, well, are they crouching? Alright, so here is where you're going to have to actually go into the lab work and practice, okay? Is hit confirming inside a feng shui engine. Now, you're going faster than you do uh, with a lot of the other normals. You know, stuff like that are mostly going to be hit confirms are going to be canceled to this. But once you get a hit confirm, you need to realize that you need to maximize it, like we talked in the other lesson, okay? So let's say I think they're going to block. Okay, I might do something like this to, to catch a block string. But what happens if I'm in the middle of that and suddenly I start hitting? So you've got to learn inside Feng Shui Engine to be able to switch it up back and forth, okay? No, uh, oh, well, they're blocking, so do I want to go for the overhead? Do I notice that they're crouching down? What well, can I get the overhead reset? Oh, I said it's random again? Yeah, I said it's random. Can I get the overhead reset? What happens? All right, I want to score the big damage. Can we get more damage? You know what? I'm just going to set her to block, or to auto-block. So we're inside Feng Shui Engine, I get the overhead. This is a, this is no comp, there no bar right here. 394 damage off an overhead. I'm toying them. Oops. I'm, I'm making her block, I'm making her block. Overhead. Whoops. Gotta hit the combo. Get our 400 damage, okay? Now, chances are, if uh, you've already got your Feng Shui engine, this is a little bit deeper into the match. So unless they've been kicking your ass throughout the whole match and you haven't done damage, chances are you've already been doing normal damage with your footsies, with your combos, your hit confirms, all the other stuff like that. So that makes any hit confirm that you get into Feng Shui engine, especially if you can knock out something for max damage for 390 damage, that much closer for you being better over there. All right. So let's talk a little bit about, um, uh, oh, 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 you know what, let's talk about, oh, well, we can't really set it in the game. Um, I'm going to go a little bit more over it in uh, the next lesson, which is going to be about setups and situations, but one thing about delay wake up in this game, um, this is a typical setup to see if they're going to do a delay wake up. You throw them, then you neutral drop heavy kick, and you activate as soon as you land. All right, right here, if they did a delay wake up, hey, how's it going, dude? Um, if they do a delay wake up, right during this animation, you will see technical on the screen. That means they are going to delay wake up. So jury gets to cheat and see about delay wake ups a little bit easier than other people because you've got all these five seconds that it's happening. Then you can delay your, uh, delay your safe jump or anything like that, right? Okay, so let's... Uh, Let's go over a little bit more about maximizing the potential for jury, okay? So we've gone over everything that jury can do in the game, uh, as far as in Feng Shui Engine. We can chain, we can block string, we can fireball, right? So, uh, okay, oops, you know what, actually, let's start this off on a situation. So, you're playing footsies. We're going to activate. Oh, okay, something I need to note. It just happened right there. Um, I mentioned this in the lesson one uh, about changing from AE to Ultra, okay? Uh, let's restart. Alright. That hits right now. One of the things that Capcom forgot to do when they switched over to Ultra is keep this lower hitbox property against uh, characters when you activate Feng Shui Engine. So what happens? We're going to whiff. Okay. I am constantly losing because I think I can, you know, meaty somebody. 
and then I get hit and they sure you can and all that because I didn't actually meet them okay so uh, let's start this over again so here is let's see what we can do as far as ginking out the damage getting as most of it that we can okay now I, I don't know why I did that I wanted to do it off a back throw So we get a back throw. Do I got it set to random? No, auto block. Okay. So we get there. Oops, nope, we don't want to sweep. So we can... Oops, sorry. Do this again. So, look at how much damage. We're going to do two combos here, and we're going to show you how much it does. Dash, dash, fake a low. Alright, off of one bar of meter, we get about 75% of their life, and I've still got Feng Shui Engine time left over. Okay? So what else other types of situation can we do? Well, this, uh set up here let's say we've already gone over the we've already did the juggle properties okay so let's say that you don't want to go for the hit confirm you've got it you hit the overhead but you don't want to go for the damage you want to try and go for a reset because you're behind by a whole bunch well this is the special delivery the special delivery is that right there so what happens meaty right as soon as they land so where? Oh, come on. Tired of activating. So we're going to set it here. Overhead. Well, too far out, but you'll have to... Oops. So we get that reset. What else can we do? Well... You can do the special delivery, but you can do it instead of doing the far medium kick, do far medium punch, okay? Well, where, why would you want to change between the two, alright? Let's look up this situation. Alright, so you can get the meaty off of it. Say so you got the two bars. Alright, well, what happens if we do the, the far medium punch? Other side! Another mix-up. Now, you're going to have to delay it on some of the characters, depending on the way they fall. So, so where can you put even more mind games into this? Well, here's the thing. If you play somebody a lot, they're going to catch on eventually to this setup, okay? That's going to be behind. That's going to be in front. So, what you can do to try and throw them off a little bit. Uh, I record it with OBS. There's an option to allow you to save the file locally. I then convert them um, to a smaller file and then upload it to OBS. Or upload it to YouTube. So, so let's say you want to mix it up. That's behind. Well, what do we don't want to go behind? You see what I did? Alright. I held the focus a little bit longer. I, didn't, I let it go. Early, I get behind. I get in front. Okay? So you can kind of give an even extra bit of a mix-up game as far as that. Well, what other mix-up games can we do? Alright. Some of the characters we can fuzzy guard while inside a Feng Shui engine. Uh, let's go with Rufus, okay? So, for this next part, here's what is uh, going to be your homework for today. I want you to go on YouTube, uh, when you get done watching this, and look up Big Nasty Kale. Big Nasty Kale is a really good uh, jury player from New York area. Um, talk with him all the time. He's got a, uh, a video series on YouTube called The Technology Tree, which is probably one of the best tech um, jury series out there. Um, 
and he goes over some amazing stuff, particularly the one called Feng Shui Links. Okay, so we've gone over chains and links already. Yeah, big nasty Kale, dude. Kale, Kale's my friend, man. I chat with him all the time. I'm I've constantly throwing situations at him on what to do and what not to do, and we always back and forth. That dude is great. All right, so. So what's feng shui links, okay? Now I don't want to take too long to you know take uh, and re-explain it because if you watch that video, he will go into it again. But as we already know, ch chains, you know, that's a link. Whoops, those are chains, and anything inside a feng shui engine is a chain if you cancel it. All right, so what is a feng shui link? Well, a feng shui link is basically what it is. Instead of chaining a normal by canceling it and hitting it early, you actually link a normal. Well, what can you link, okay? Well, what happens if I ch if I do close heavy punch into heavy kick? Whoops. It gets that. You get the close heavy kick. Whoops. Now, oh, let me set up the memory on this. Oops. Oops. Come on. All right. So, here, here's the feng shui link that I'm talking about right here. Okay. If you delay when you do the heavy or the heavy kick, you can actually combo into a reset. All right there. Okay. But you're gonna have to you're gonna have to manually time it. I usually plank it. Alright, you get what I'm saying? I delayed, I don't just pop, 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 and just go crazy on the thing. You delay now. See? That's, so that's the feng shui link. So, what happens? Well, let's do this. Let's record. We're down backing right here. Alright, we're blocking, we're blocking, we're blocking. Alright. Let's go with the playback. Whoops. I got it. He was blocking. It was down back. It was he was down backing. So what happened? All right. It's a fuzzy guard. Whoops. I got to the overhead first. All right, uh, I can do better. Whoops. Oh, I missed it. Okay. So, I know the words are in the way, but let's take a look at it. I explained fuzzy guards a little bit in the last lesson about fireballs and footsies. All right, um, hentai. I uh, I tell you what. Give me. Uh, let me finish up on this, and I'm gonna try and dedicate the last ten minutes um, to anybody that's in the stream that wants to answer any questions. So I'll go into detail that here in about six minutes. Okay. So if you can look behind, I talked about or I talked about fuzzy guards when I gave you a little preview of Balrog last week about how you swept, then did that, and then you fuzzy guard. So right now, when I did the close heavy punch, which was the backflip, into the far heavy kick for the reset. Rufus lands, and for the first part of him landing, before he can go to down back, he is standing up. Well, since I did it as a reset, I had a couple more moves, a couple more opportunities to do something before he actually lands on the ground. If I do a jump heavy punch, you can kind of see, you see that arm right there, that mine's going through? He is technically holding down back, but he's standing up, and I hit him during that. And I get a fuzzy guard. So what other feng shui links can we possibly do? Well, let me show you one. And I'll also talk about something else, okay? Um, not all characters, whenever you're inside feng shui engine, will be able to link off of an overhead into a storm, uh, far stand medium punch. The reason being because of the distance that the overhead pushes them back. Okay. Right, set him. Uh, set her to crouching. So something you'll have to be careful about it. All right. Now normally, 
doesn't work because he kind of pushes her back. See? That's the dis that's the timing for it. All right. In instances like this, and off the top of my head, I know that uh, Rose is one, El Forte is another. Um, Blanca at times can be, Borg at times can be, depending on, I think, if they're holding down versus holding down back. So what you'll have to do in those situations, instead of going for the th this, you have to go for something else, okay? So where does Feng Shui Engines come into play, all right? Well, what happens if we do... All right, we do that. Crouch heavy, or crouch heavy punch. Stand heavy kick. Well, what happens if uh, the distance is a little far out? Oh, we still get it, okay. Well... There we go. Feng Shui Link, okay? Instead of getting the far or the close heavy kick, we get the far heavy kick. And because there's so much time between... There we go. Since there's so much time our hit's done on that, and you're canceling the end of that, you get to do a, a, a different combo. Alright, so this is 210, but this will be... Oops, if I can hit it again. Come on. Same thing. A little bit easier. Well, some of them that has it better. Okay? So... So where does the Feng Shui, so with the, the Feng Shui engine and doing the links and all that, what could we possibly get? Well, speaking of Big Nasty Kale, shout outs to him, I was having problems finding out what would be the max damage versus Rose when I'm in Feng Shui engine. Typically, uh, in Feng Shui engine, they're, they're, most of the characters can get the same type of combo, except you had to do into overhead. Alright, well that doesn't work on Rose. Well, you're going to have to go for the harder links on Rose, okay? So since we know that doesn't work, we can do something like this. But if you're going for absolute maximum damage, here's your thing. Like I said, it's plus six on the overhead. Well, we've got, that's a six frame normal. That's a six frame normal. That's a six frame normal. Okay, so. So you're going to have to link that, okay? So. It gets... You can get combos like this. And I've been practicing this all weekend, and trust me, it is hard. It is very hard. Oops. I didn't want that. Because I didn't delay my uh, close heavy punch better. Alright, so. Come on. Come on, hit it. Hey, what's up? So let me just show you this other part. Trust me, this combo is stupid hard. Just to try and get it. So here's another feng shui link that you can do with Rose, okay? There's that. But you can also go... So that's the difference between a feng shui... Uh, feng shui... Feng shui link, okay? Sure, you can one, two, three. But then what do you do? Well, that whiffs, okay? So the most that we can get is... 322 off of this. Well, what happens if we throw the Feng Shui Link in? There we go. More damage in there. All right. So, kind of to wrap this up, uh, uh, and maybe I can I can start taking some questions, and I'll keep showing you guys some stuff. Um, Feng Shui Engine. Okay. You're gonna have to get used to being able to to think fast. Okay. So I'll go into Hentai's question. The problem I'm having when I go into Feng Shui Engine is that I break down and can't keep my composure when I get in to do the combos. Okay. Well, first off, what type of combos are you doing, okay? Let's go with the typical overhead combo. I'm assuming you being a jury player, you know this, all right? So, let's set Rose... Oh, let's not set Rose, because Rose stinks on overhead combos. Let's get somebody else, and let's go into that. So tell me exactly... Um, what do you mean by losing your composure when you get into the combos? Are you just going crazy on the stick and just hitting all the buttons? Well, if you looked at my uh, second video about maximizing jury, we want to try and take advantage of everything we can for a couple reasons. One, we're going to get better damage if we try and maximize the combo. 
Two, we can actually save time on Feng Shui Engine, being so important that it is. So, let's... Who do I want? Let's go back to Sea Viper. I love, I love practicing on Sea Viper. A lot of stuff works on her. Alright. Okay. So let's say you've got your overhead combo, okay? No, oh, wait. Let's activate. Okay. So you get your overhead combo, hentai, right? And then you... You just think, oh crap. Gotta go crazy. Oh, stuff isn't working. Alright. Well, let's say, um... You want to keep it simple, okay? Oh, who was I going to do this on earlier? Uh, let me see. I think I stood her up. Okay. So one thing about uh, Anti that you got to understand is that um, damage scaling in this game, like I said, you get the same damage while being inside Feng Shui Engine. So the damage scaling is still going to stay the same. Since you have the ability to chain normals, your damage scaling is going to kick in quicker. So what's the damage scaling? Well, we've got 100%, 100%, 80%. So at the third one, you're going to get 80%, okay? 70% on the fourth one. Let's see. 60% on the fifth one. Oops. Oh, come on. Alright, so anyway, you, you get what I'm saying. Your damage scaling kicks in. So, what do you want to do? Alright, so let's say you get the overhead, right? Now, you can go into a light kick. But you don't really want to, okay? Basically, a rule that I keep to myself when inside Feng Shui Engine is that I don't want to use lights as uh, at all unless I have to, okay? The reason being it's just an extra button that's going to add on scaling for 30 damage. So, I usually go for overhead into a stand medium punch, and I work my way up. Okay? No damage, con no, no bar that we got right there. There was no meter spent and we got 394 damage. Now that's kind of character specific with C Viper. Most of the characters, the combo you're going to get is that right there. You're going to have to cancel that first hit of the Stam Heavy Kick and get about 352 damage. Let's say you've got meter though, okay? Well... Oh, that doesn't work. That's right. I need to... Oh, come on. So if you've got some meter... Come on, I'm fadc -ing. Four hundred and sixty-two damage. Again, some characters you can even get onwards to five hundred something damage off of one Feng Shui Engine combo. So as far as keeping your composure, my suggestions, okay? Um, keep it simpler. Don't worry about going for lights. Say I go for... That's 419. Okay. Come on, hit my combo. I fun. Uh. All right. So what ha what happens here um, is you're adding a lot in the beginning. Oh, this only got me 455, but what did I get earlier? Oops. 462, because of the damage scaling. So, you have to understand that in Feng Shui, your scaling is going to happen. So, don't go for, like, the super long, crazy stuff, because the damage scaling is going to hit. So, um, as far as keeping your composure, okay? Here's another thing that you have to approach when you're looking at Feng Shui Engine, okay? You don't have to go crazy. 
you are still capable of playing the same exact way that you were playing before you activated Feng Shui Engine. There's a lot of times I'll get somebody and they think I'm going to go crazy and I block and then they do a Thunder Knuckle and then I punish it. Let me do this. Well, I can't really set it up here. Oh, I hate it when I do this. Oh, no! No, 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 no! Oh, no! This isn't good, guys. Okay. How do I... How do I... How do I get back in there? I just set my keyboard. Oh, thank God. Okay. No! This isn't good. <laughs> um... I completely just locked myself out of being able to do the rest of this lesson on my joystick because I set player one to the keyboard and I don't know how... I don't know what my motions are set. Okay, okay. No, no. Wait, wait. Give me a sec, guys. Give me a sec. There we go. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> sorry about that. I wasted two minutes of your guys' time. I'm sorry. As much as I try to keep it strict, okay? I completely lost track of what I was even going to be talking about right here. Oh, now I remember. I remember. Okay. Um, so as an example, uh, I've been playing a lot on Justin's stream. I subscribed over there so that I can get in on the first of five so I can try and up my game a little bit better on the highest of level. The other day he had Sherry Genix on there and she was playing Viper, okay? And there was times that I was in Feng Shui Engine. Now, if you go and watch it, don't. I lost 5-0. It was horrible. I made a bunch of mistakes. But what I did treat it is whenever I got Feng Shui Engine, there was times that I would do a block string and then stop. Because I was expecting that she thinks I was going for a reset. So I stopped and she did a heavy punch thunder knuckle. And then what was I able to do? Uh, I was able to get something like this on her free 316 damage that was after I was already and then blocked it got another combo so you don't have to go crazy when you're inside feng shui engine I have activated before on people yeah, let me start over I, I've been playing against people gone over activated it fireball dip wait for them to do something and then and then I go back to footseeing. Why? Because then I can get a hit confirm and go into something like that if I think they're a little bit crazy. So you don't always have to uh, go absolutely nuts when you are playing inside a feng shui engine. Yes, you have the potential to dish out big damage. But guess what? If it's a person that's going to be sure you can against you, somebody that's going to be doing a lot of reversals, that might actually hurt you. Due to the fact that if you go for the reset, I've been ultra off of my overhead before. She doesn't have a fast overhead. You can just be a little bit trickier by canceling it. Okay? But it's still a fast over... It's still not a fast overhead and people can uh, sure you can this as well. So you... As far as keeping calm, that's just going to come with practice on learning how to be inside a feng shui engine. Um, like I said, just just try to keep your composure. Don't go for overly complicated combos. Find out what combos uh, you're comfortable with doing, especially if you play online. What combos are you comfortable with always being able to hit and go on those? When you're absolutely comfortable with those combos, try adding in something else if it'll get you more damage, okay? Go for the short, quicker ones. Are you capable of FADC and then hitting a stand medium punch afterwards? We'll try tacking that on. Just remember that your damage scaling is going to uh, tack on even more if you've got an FADC combo. Don't worry about always constantly pressuring the person. You can calm down. There is nothing in the game that says you have to go fucking crazy because you have Feng Shui Engine going. You have a setup with back throw and one bar of meter. See, I, I would have to see that. Um... If you want to, uh, like when I put, I'm going to put this video up here in a little bit uh, on YouTube, probably in a couple hours or so, um, if you want to like comment on that and link it to me, but without knowing the setup, it's going to be kind of hard <laughs> to know exactly what your setup is and to be able to give any kind of comments on that. So I can't really help you right there. So anyway, we've got about 15 seconds left. Um, hopefully... This shed a little light into uh, Feng Shui Engine, not only how it works, how to properly try and use it, when to activate it, try
try to activate it in a situation where you're not going to be wasting time when you're dashing in to try and get close to the person. Hold up. Wait on it to... There we go. So, um, understand a good time when to activate it. It's a, usually a big mistake that I see a lot of jury players do, is they activate it at a wrong time. Um, understand your setups. Read your character. Read the opponents. Do they like to down back a lot? Are they a charge character? Feng Shui Engine kind of blows up charge characters, especially characters that are scared to do reversals. Uh, Guile, for example, if he doesn't want to just throw out a flash kick because he doesn't want to get punished, you can blow him up pretty hard with a, with a Feng Shui Engine reset. All right? So that's going to be it for Feng Shui Engine. Uh, lesson, next lesson is going to be setups and situations. Um, we're going to be going over safe jump setups. We're going to be going over some character-specific uh, stuff. We're going to be going over situations that you can take advantage of as a jury player. Uh, basically, universal kind of uh, uh, meta thing that all characters have. We're going to be going over the stuff that jury does. Um, if you are watching on YouTube, um, go ahead and follow me, and you'll know whenever the uh, videos get uploaded. I believe my next stream is going to be Sunday uh, next week, which will be, I think, the 28th or 29th probably around 7 o'clock Pacific time. If you want to know when I'm going live, you can follow me on uh, Twitch, or you can follow me on Twitter, which it's oh, that side. It's up there in the uh, uh, the top corner. You can follow me on there. Usually I like to start announcing it about an hour or so beforehand. So my YouTube name is Triox, T-R-I-O-X. It's up there as well. Um, on top of putting up the $1 jury lessons, I, I'll usually throw up like little snippets like if I find something. Like, for example, something that I've never seen anybody else do is miss their combo. Is Oh, that's right. My focus button is going out. Look at that. Sweep combo. I've never seen that before until I found it out the other day. Somebody's probably seen it somewhere, but I never knew it. So, like, little tidbits that I find, set up situations, stuff like that, I'll throw up there as well. So, thank you, everybody, for watching. Um, uh, thank you for all the support that everybody's been giving me, all the, all the comments. I've been, I've been in stream chat watching other people, and I've had a lot of people say that they really enjoyed the lesson. So, thank you. If you've got any kind of feedback, leave it on the, the YouTube video. You can uh, come into stream next time I'm streaming. Give it to me there. So, with that said, I'll see everybody next week uh, for setups and situations. All right. Have a good night.